worst tires ever. Do not buy. It's 94 degrees outside, just outside of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. You're looking at the third blowout in 250 miles. These Diamondback brand radials are the worst tires ever. They were all properly inflated to 80 PSI. I weighed the trailer. The trailer weighs in at, with the truck, 13,560 pounds. So the trailer only weighs about 8,000 pounds. And these things are just popping like balloons. I got one left. I may just replace both. It's Sunday, so hopefully I can. That's a new one. That was my spare. Both of them on the other side, which I'm not going to go because I don't want to die, have already been replaced. It's another 30 miles out of my way to the nearest Walmart that supposedly has these tires. Now, I know what you're thinking, but the build date is March of 2021. These tires are only two and a half years old and only have about 6,500 miles on them. This is the first tire that blew out. It lost like a third of its treads circumferentially, plus blew out a bunch of steel that you can see on the right hand side there. This is the second one that blew out. This one blew out at a gas pump, fortunately, because I had already used up my spare. It sounded like a shotgun blast going off. I literally just or was just coming to a stop in front of the gas pump and this one blew out. Fortunately, it was at a truck stop and they let me park the trailer there and go run to a Walmart to get replacement tires. And this is the third one. Check out that explosion. That is all steel coming out, mangled steel wire coming out the top and it's split all the way down to the bead. Now the first one actually had a split down to the bead, but you didn't really see it quite as well. Now these are the tires that came with the trailer. As you know, they're not very old. Why did they blow? Well, I mean, it is August and this is the hottest summer on record. Maybe that has something to do with it, but the replacement tires from Walmart didn't have any similar problems. All I can say about them is that these are the worst tires ever. Do not buy. But on the bright side, I can now change these tires in about 10 minutes with these tools here. All electric except for the bottle jack, which you need to be able to get the electric jack under it. But hey, without this at 94 degrees, I probably would have passed out by now. I know my videos have been a little sparse lately. Well, there's been a lot going on. Not only three blowouts in 250 miles, we're back down in Texas along the road. I found myself a dog that was abandoned and not doing too hot when I found him. This is after he ate an ungodly amount of food and drank an ungodly amount of water by the side of the highway. And of course, there's always the progress on Alex Labs. It's coming along nicely. It finally fits on the foundation after a $30,000 repair to the concrete because the original contractors apparently can't read a measuring tape. In fact, I'm gonna go full solar on this barn dominium as well, so we're gonna cover that too. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all in the next one.